We have seen so far that we can create a class, but we cannot create a second class with the same name. So within one project, the class name needs to be unique. Let us go to Visual Studio and create two classes with the same name. So in here write public class, hello class, and create another one with the same name. If we hover over the second one, we see that the namespace C-sharp already has a class, hello class. So we see that we cannot have two classes with the same name. However, at one point, Microsoft decided to change this with the introduction of something called partial classes. So this means that by using the partial classes, we can create two classes with the same name within the same namespace. And this way, two persons can work in the same class. So, in our solution, let us change the public class to public partial class. And let us do the same for the second class as well. So now here we see that we can have two classes with the same name within the same namespace. Inside the first class, let us add a method, hello world. So for that we write in here public void hello world. And this method will simply console that right line, hello world. Let us go to the second class and create another method of type void and name this method hello universe. And we simply console that right line, hello universe. Now let us go inside the main method and inside here create an object out of the hello class. So write in here hello class, hello is equal to new hello class. And then if we type in here hello, we have reference to both methods. So hello world and hello universe. So let us execute these methods, change this to hello universe and then control F5 to see the result. So in here we see that we have the results. But why would we use the partial classes instead of the standard classes? We use the partial classes because multiple developers can work at the same time with a single class in separate files. So for example, when you work with a designer like the one in Visual Studio, for instance, the Windows Forms or WPF, where all the automatically generated designer code can be kept in one file, while your code is kept in another one. 